Okay, I found a, a quieter place to work today. I think it's quieter. I hope it's quieter. Seems quieter. Um, and I would like to get this done because I have a uh, running late and I have other things to do. So, um, advent of code. Uh, so day two, that problem should be out. And let us, um, because I'm OCD, I'll, I'll peek at this and make sure it look, works right, but it looks right. Okay, um, let's go to day two. Um, the elves begin to set up camp on the bench, society's tent, a giant rock, paper, scissors tournament in progress, rock, paper, scissors. The game contains many rounds, and each round, the players each simultaneously can choose one of rock, paper, scissors using a hand shape. The winner is defeated rock, defeats scissors, scissors defeats paper, paper defeats rock. If both choose the same safe, the round inset ends in a draw. Appreciative of your help yesterday, one little elf gives you an encrypted strategy ride that says they'll help you win. The first column is what your opponent's going to play, A for rock, B for paper. Second column, suddenly he is called away to help with someone's tent. Second column, for you, you reason must be what someone should play in response. Winning every time would be suspicious, so the responses must have been uh, carefully chosen. The winner of the whole tournament is the player with the highest score. Your total score is the sum of scores for each round. The sum is the score for the shape you selected, one for rock, three, two for paper, three for scissors, plus the score for the outcome of the round. Um, zero if you lost, three if the round was draw, six if you run. So you can be sure if that was trying to help you or trick you, to get the score you get, you follow the strategy guide. For example, suppose you're following the strategy guide. In the first round, you should choose paper Y. Uh, turn around your paper to choose rock to the loss of the score. Third round is a draw with both papers choosing scissors, giving you uh, a, a score of um, total score. Total score if everything goes uh, correctly according to your strategy guide. Okay, um, so that's easy. I don't know if it's easy enough. Uh, from enum import enum. Uh, so class RPS enum rock there you go paper equals one um a static method um parse s um so let's see um so I'll keep this, but this is wrong. Um, so what they said is that um, A and X are rock. So this should really be in A, X. And um, maybe I'll call this RPS. Uh, don't ask me why. I just uh, somehow I don't like uh, doing all caps for I don't know why. Um, and otherwise, if S is in, I'm not sure using this suggestion actually saved me any time. Okay. If, although it's getting smart, right? Okay, so, uh, so I think that seems uh, right. Um, and then Um, at property, um, shape score. So I don't know if I can do a property like that on an enum. I don't think I can. Um, maybe I can. Shape score. So let's see what the shape score is. One for rock, two for papers, three for scissors. Oh, why don't I just do this? So then I can do uh, the value. Um, uh, def score, um, and let's see. Um, opponent me um, so uh, 
Okay, so let's do this. Opponent value equals opponent dot value. Me value equals me dot value. Um, and so if so rock beats no paper beats rock scissors beats paper and rock beats scissors so if something is um, one higher so if um, so let me just do it this way Let's say delta equals. Oh, that's smart. Okay, so if delta equals zero, um, then I want to return uh, me value because I always get me value, right? Uh, L if delta equals one. Um, so delta equals one means my opponent picked p my opponent one. Um, so that should be a three for a draw. Um, draw is worth three, this delta equals one, loss is worth zero, return me value, L if delta equals two, when is, hmm, I wonder how it knew that. Um, Let's say raw equals def parse raw string goes to uh, a list of a list of um, RPS. Yeah, I could be more specific than that, but I won't. Um, and let's see what this is saying. That seems right. I'll throw an extra strip in there. Um, so, sum of the score of deconstruct line for line of lines. Yep, that's right too. Um, so let's do print. Let's actually do. Um, assert the score of parse of raw equals, and what did they say the score should be? Um, I'm going to choose paper, you should choose rock. This is a loss of score one. Draw with a score of three plus three. Total score is 15. Okay. So let's try running that. Score takes one positional argument, but two were given. <laughs> okay, lines, let's just do this. Let's see what I did wrong. That seems good. Type error. Score takes one positional argument, but two are given. Um, oh, because I renamed I named the function of all the things. Um, that's why. Okay, good. What does it not like about this? It's, I don't care about that. Okay, get your puzzle input. Okay, so with open, let's see, day o two dot text. As f lines equals 
parse f dot read uh, print score all lines. That seems like what I want to do. So, and it says one five five two three. Okay, just go to part two. L finishes. Anyway, the second column says how the round needs to end. X means you need to lose. Y means you need to do the round the draw. Z means you need to win. Total score is still calculated the same way, but now you need to figure out which shape to choose so the round ends as indicated. We'll choose right. You need the round to end in a draw, so you choose uh, rock. This gives you a store of 1 plus 3 equals 4. Second round, your opponent will choose paper B, so you choose rock, so you lose. You did say. Now that you're. Uh, okay. Um. So now let's say um 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 def find um choice self um Result stirring, which goes to an RPS. Okay. If result equals draw, then I need to, but uh, it's not going to say draw, it's going to say um, Y is draw. Raw return self. Otherwise, if result is X, which means I need to win, Remember, X means I need to lose. To lose, um, if self equals RPS rock return. RPS dot scissors. Otherwise, if it's paper, uh, return rock. Else, scissors, uh, return paper. Well, if result equals Z, then I need to win. So, um, if self equals rock, then return paper. Otherwise, if it's paper, return scissors. Otherwise, uh, return rock. So that seems good. Okay. Gotta do the double equals. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to do uh, def parse two, which is raw string. Okay. And here it'll be too complicated to do with the list comprehension, so I'll just say out equals this uh, for line in that. Um, opponent result equals line dot split. Um, that seems right. Again, I'm wondering if it's looking at other people's solutions to do this because how else would it have figured out um, all that stuff? Um, 12, it should be. So let's run it and see if that works. If that did work. Okay, uh, so now let's go. Um, let's see. That we already have it. Parse and parse two. Those are those are bad names for functions, but that's okay. Lines two. We're just trying to get it done. So 
15702. That is the right answer. All right, so um, nothing super exciting here. I used the enum. Not sure if that was the right. I mean, it's the obvious thing to do. I'm not sure if it made the problem easier or harder. Um, and uh, writing the parsing, this is a very, like, this is such a droll thing to do, right? Like, use an enum or use a data class to represent something the way you want to represent it. Um, and then you write a static method to parse it from string. That's just, like, such a me thing to do. That's how I do things. Um, and then here's the interesting thing where we had to add a method on the enum. So I think I, w I questioned that before. I guess you can because I did. Um, where, you know, depending on the type of the enum, you have to do something different. Um, so uh, probably if I knew how to use the, the case statements in uh, Python 3.10, I think they're there. Um, I should research that because I don't, I don't know the syntax for that. Um, that might have made this easier. Um, and then other than that, it's just a matter of like following the instructions and making sure that um, you know, being clever with these modulus things, and yeah, it worked. So uh, that's today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, good morning, good evening, good whatever time it is where you are. Um, and uh, yeah, so I will uh, catch that later. All right.